Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm explaining about general settings in Zoom application. We have discussed a lot of topic related to the Zoom and uh, we'll be going into the settings panel. To go to the settings, you can see here uh, settings icon, click on the settings icon and a new window, it will be opening like this. So today we are going to cover general tab what are what are the settings available there and um, let's start so the first option here is start zoom when i start windows so whenever you restarted your computer or you booted up your computer automatically the zoom will be started in the background so if you are a regular user of zoom and you don't want to start the zoom manually every time you can go with this option but Make sure you have enough RAM in your computer, you have enough uh, specs on your computer to run the program to start at the beginning because it will make the make the computer booting slowly, not the booting actually. After the computer booted up, you will you will feel that its computer is very slow if you don't have enough RAM or you're running a normal hard disk. That's it. Now um, here we have an option like when closed, minimize window to the notification area instead of the taskbar what is this so if you are unchecking this one uh, if you are uh, if you are checking this one what happens if you close this uh, zoom it will be running in the notification panel so i'll just show you that one <coughs> when closed minimize window to the notification area instead of the taskbar so i'm just going to close here and you can see here it's appearing here instead of the notification area but if i'm going to Go choose this option like when closed minimize the window to notification area instead of the taskbar so if i close this one i cannot see it in the taskbar but it's here in the uh, notification area that's how it works so uh, when i'm checking this option like starting zoom when i start windows i have an option like silently start zoom when i start windows so this is basically doing the background it will um, it will start in the background it will not be uh, displayed here in the taskbar so you can check this option but right now i don't want this to i don't want zoom to start automatically if i need i will open it manually so i'm going to choose this one use dual monitor so what is it basically doing you can check here show participants videos and screen shared content on separate screen like you can see here the videos of the participants whoever there in their meetings and the shared screen Content separate screens. So if you have multiple monitors, you can uh, go with this option. You can see the video of the person or the participants and the shared screen in separate separate picture. So I don't have to monitor to show you this one. So you can check this option if you have multiple monitor and you want to switch the videos and the shared screen separately. The fourth option is enter full screen automatically when starting or joining meeting. So uh, if you check this one automatically, if you start the meeting, uh, it will start in the full screen. So let's see what is it doing basically. I'm going to go with the new meeting. So you can see here automatically it's on the full screen. Everything, every task and everything, taskbar, everything is, uh, uh, is hidden automatically because it's in the full screen mode. So let's uh, go back, let's end the meeting. If I'm gonna start it with the, um, let's go back to the general settings. If I'm unchecking this one and starting a meeting. So it will be opening in a minimized or a normal window. Like you can uh, see all the operations, you can minimize it, maximize it as you wish. So I believe uh, this option will be preferred in my case because I don't want to start the meeting automatically in full screen and here we have automatically copy invite link once the meeting starts so this might be a good option because if you are starting the meeting normally you will have to get the invitation link and then uh, you should have to share it but if you are checking this one automatically it will copy the invitation link to your clipboard so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna start a meeting and let's see if it's um, 
automatically copied yeah you can see here it automatically copied the meeting link so you can just share it with anyone I believe this option it will help us but you need to make sure that uh, if there if there is anything on your clipboard it will automatically remove it from your uh, clipboard so you need to make sure if you want this one you can check this one always show meeting controls you can uh, choose this option in case uh, you want to show the meeting controls but also you can if, even if you uncheck this one we can uh, see the meeting control by show height meeting uh, by clicking the alt button on the uh, when this meeting is uh, meeting is going on let's see this option like uh, and see here is there is a difference so i believe it's already there in the meeting every options like something it's it was there before so that's fine um, nothing has to be done over here let's go back and um, and check this option because it's showing the meeting control already but uh, you can just make sure that it is showing the meeting control every time if you start the meeting <coughs> sorry uh, ask me to confirm when I leave meeting so normally once we are leaving a meeting it will ask for a confirmation like whether you want to leave the meeting or not you can uh, just disable this one so that it will not ask for a confirmation show my connected time it will uh, show for how long you are connected to that meeting uh, normally I think it's um, if I'm starting a meeting or joining a meeting it will uh, show us the time that we are on the meeting you can see here on the top how long I'm in the meeting here for seven seconds right now so that is that option you can um, just uncheck that option let's see once again it's showing here cool so uh, that is it now let's go back to the settings again so my connector time is good if you want remind me five minutes before upcoming meetings so there is already you, you schedule the meeting uh, and you want to get a notification like five minutes before you can choose the timing maximum is 15 minutes you can get a notification before 15 minutes minimum is five minutes so you can choose according to your requirement normally I'll keep it 15 minutes because in five minutes I cannot prepare for a meeting even if I have forgotten for that meeting particular meeting so let's keep it 15 minutes but in case if you want you can just make it five or ten right now you have only three options available and here we have option like stop my video and audio when it displays off or screen saver begins so uh, if you if you want to stop the video and audio when our display is off or screen saver begins for person in some in your case maybe you have a battery saver or something uh, and you're you're idle for a long time so automatically the display will go off and maybe the screen saver automatically will begin in that case automatically the video and audio will be stopped in the meeting so normally I won't prefer this one to set this option to stop the video and audio but in case if you want you can uh, check this option so whenever your computer goes to the screen saver mode or your display is off it will stop the video and audio and here you have option to integrate with uh, zoom with outlook basically this one it will show zoom contact status and set zoom as default chat meeting and phone app in outlook i think it will um, generate one add-on i haven't tested it let me see if, uh, if there is any add-on but that will that will uh, make the outlook a little bit slow so you need to consider this option if you want to enable or not well, let's uh, Check the add-ons. I need to normally it doesn't appear anything. Like I have seen a team viewer team viewer uh, window here, but um, unfortunately I don't see any options related to the zoom. I'm 
going in the add-ins. Uh, no, nothing is there. I think we need to add it manually for a zoom. Maybe I will discuss this in the coming video in detail. If we can have an add-on on, on uh, Outlook. All right, and the reaction skin tone, you can make it any one of this default depending on your requirement. I'm going to keep this one or this one for uh, the reactions skin tone. All right, so this is all the settings related uh, to the channel. The, the topic that we need to cover in the next video is only this one, integrate Zoom with Outlook. Uh, I'll discuss when I'm discussing the video topic related to the, uh, in the next video. I believe this video was helpful to you guys. I uh, really appreciate for watching this completely. Thank you once again. Subscribe the channel, click the bell icon for notification. Take care. Goodbye.